Hey girls, I thought I was gonna, I thought I would go live today, um, because I, well, first off, I was having some issues with my live a couple weeks ago, and I haven't tried it since, so I wanted to go in here and, um, do sort of a practice run before I do it on my personal page, but then I thought I would go ahead and just give you guys an actual tip while I'm doing it. I've been talking to my coaches about this a lot, um, I want to talk to you guys about where you find coaches. In the beginning of my business, you know, because I was a business builder from the get-go, I was very much like, I have to find coaches, I want coaches, I want to build a team of like-minded women, and ah, you know, like, I was really, like, searching for people to, like, come in and start working the business. Here's what I've learned. Um, doing it that way typically ends up being what I like to call the quick, slow way, meaning you think you're doing it quick in the beginning, but in the end, it's actually... Um, it actually takes slower because what was happening was like, I might get someone to sign up to work the business, but since they didn't have the foundation of loving the programs, um, they didn't have a foundation of the love of the programs, the love of Shakeology, the love of the products and the groups and all of that. Um, they would become overwhelmed and basically just dip out, you know? So all that work I put into these people, finding them and then training them in the beginning, it was just all lost quick, slow way. Now I do things the slow, quick way, which means that it might seem like it's taking longer to build it, but you're going to build it in the right way. It might seem like um, it's taking you longer to rank advance, but when you rank advance, you're going to be able to hold it. Um, whereas, you know, some people rank advance by just getting a bunch of, a bunch of total, you know, filling their teams with discount coaches. That is very stressful to uphold long term. Um, and it's just, there's no point to it. You know what I mean? You want to build this the right way. You want to build this... Um, you want your rank advancement to be a side effect of all the people that you're helping, and you want it to be an illustration of the fact that you are developing leaders, women on on your team that are helping others create wealth physically and financially for them for themselves and for others. Um, so here's where you find coaches. My point: <clears throat> you find challengers, and you get them results. That's it. Um, when you find people, help them see the value in the products and the programs by changing their life, they are naturally going to want to help do it for other people because for the most part, probably your challengers are going to be women. And I was talking to Christy yesterday and I'm like, what do we as women do? When we find something we love, we talk about it to our friends. We're like, oh my gosh, you have to try this. I mean, unless you're like a total bitch and you don't want people to like get ahead in life or something, you know what I mean? If you find something that works for you, you share that. So why in the heck would you have somebody who's changed their life mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually for the better? Why wouldn't they want to share it in, in whatever way they could, whether it be um, to their friends and family, whether it be as a hobby coach or whether it be as a full time all in coach, you know, like me and Allison? Why wouldn't they? You know what I mean? So so how you find coaches, forget searching for coaches, okay? I mean, you want to have that intention out there that you want to build a team of like-minded women, but forget, like, being, who wants to be a coach on my team? Hey, have you ever heard about the opportunity? You want to be a coach on my team? It's like, no, no. You find people that want to change their life, okay? And then you help them change it. Now, of course, we can't do it for them. They have to step up to the plate. But when you're having those conversations with these people before they start the group, you give them that mindset. You tell them, I'm going to give you everything you need to succeed, but it's going to be up to you ultimately to save yourself. And it's going to be the most amazing thing that's ever happened in your life because you're going to reclaim your power. You're going to reclaim your strength. You're going to find strength that you didn't know you have. And it is going to change you forever for the better. Give them that mindset. Tell them what's going to happen. People create self-fulfilling prophecies all the time. I do it with my challenge all the time. I'm like, this is going to work for you. You're going to do this, this, and this. You're going to do it by this time. And then they do it because I told them they were going to do it. Um, it wasn't a question like, I wasn't like, well, this might work for you. or you know, No, we use confident language. We give them the vision, the plan. Um, and then we do all we can to help them succeed. We have to meet them halfway. They, of course, have to come the other half. We can't go over there and move their arms and legs and slap food out of their hand, okay? Um, so, yeah. So, that's how you find coaches. You change people's life and you build that relationship with them. And through that, you know, then, of course, you have to be sharing your journey as a coach, what it's changing for you. You don't – it's not just all about financial. How – like, coaching has changed every aspect of my life, Um and I'm constantly sharing about that on my page. So then when when the women in my group are changing their life and then they're seeing me talk about 
what coaching has done for me, they're getting that little seed in their mind, like coaching sounds kind of cool, you know? And then when I have standout challenges in my group, I'm going to tell them that. I'm going to say, you know, you're awesome. You're basically doing, you know, have you ever thought about coaching? You're doing what a coach does. You're just not getting paid for it. You know, if you love and believe in these products, like it's, I, I'd consider it. And I tell them, you don't have to make a decision right now. Just think about it. You know, um, a lot of women do it to pay for their shakes on the side or do it to get a couple extra a few hundred dollars a month. Some women quit their full-time jobs and some women like me are going to do it for the rest of their life. You know, give them that seed. Let them know they can do it. All right. That's it. Hopefully this wasn't all choppy. I'm going to rewatch it now, but everybody have an amazing day. Bye guys.